Hello all, this is Chris Grabowski recording on the uh, Mystic Place podcast. I wanted to talk about a program called Active To-Do List. It's from a company called Belie.com. At least that's the way the synthesizer is pronouncing it. Their website is www.belie.com. Com. I have downloaded a couple of their programs, one being the one I'm about to demonstrate, and another one called Handy Address Book, and there are a couple, a few other ones, uh, an audio caller ID program, and from what I've seen, they are very, very speech and keyboard friendly. So I'm in the active to-do list window, so I'm going to read my title bar right now. Active to-do list main dot TDL maximized. And that's the name of the to-do list. So I'm going to hit my down arrow key. No selected item. There's no selected item. There's nothing there. So let's hit our alt key. That's the first thing we'd want to do when exploring a new program. File pull down. Arrow. So we have a file menu. Added pull down. View pull down. Include pull down. Category pull down. And I'm just moving to the right. Help pull down. System pull down. File pull down. And then I'm back to file. So let's go down and see what we have. New. Control M dialog. Open. Control O dialog. Recent pull down. Publish to web CRLW. You can actually publish your to do list to the web. One of the main themes across these particular programs is the ability to publish your information to the web so that you can access your, say, your to do list when you're not at home. Page set up pull down. Print. Control options. And a lot of these are very self-explanatory. Hide to tray, control H. Hide to tray, control H. Exit control Q. And exit control Q. New. Control M dialog. So I'll hit escape. Menu closed. File pull down. Now go to the right. Edit pull down. And then go down. Add. Control dialog. So that's how we add a new task, and we'll do that shortly. Edit. Control E dialog disabled. That's how you edit a new task, and it's disabled because there's no task to edit. Delete Dell disabled. Complete Control M disabled. That's how you set a task to be complete. Increase priority disabled. Decrease priority disabled. And I'm just moving down. Copy Control C disabled. Paste CRLE disabled. Find Control F dialog. Categories. Dialog disabled. And you can you can assign different categories to different tasks. Select all disabled. Add Control dialog. Okay, and I'll hit escape. Menu close. Go view right. pull down. Go to view. List columns. Dialog. List columns. Now, I'll show that a little bit later, but that's really kind of neat. You can turn on and off uh, specific columns that you may or may not want to know about. Notes checked. And then notes. List columns. Dialog. And then I can uh, hit escape. Menu include pull down. And we can include. Incomplete checked. Incomplete, we obviously would want those on. Complete. Complete. You may not want to go back and see tasks, but you can if you want to turn this on. Completed today, checked. Completed today. Due to day. Past due. By date. Dialog. And here's a filter where you can say, okay, well, I only wanted to see tasks that are between two dates. You can do that as well. Incomplete, checked. Complete. Menu category pull down. Here's your different categories. All categories checked. Business. Competition. So this is how you would go and say, okay, well, I only want to see tasks that business are business related tasks or Compet- favorites, holiday cards, ideas, international, key customer, miscellaneous, personal, phone calls. Phone calls. So maybe you make tasks to call people back. You can put those in the phone call category and only view those. Suppliers. Time expense. Okay. Menu closed. Help pull down. And then there's help. So I'm going to hit Alt to get out of the menu. Menu closed. No selected item. And I'm going to press Control A to add a new task. A. Property sheet. Task properties. Task. Edit box. Arrow. E. C O R O D C A S T. So I'll say recording podcast and then tab. Notes. Rich edit. Here's my notes. 
I could assign it a category. I don't want to, but I can. Edit box. I'm not sure what that edit box is. Due date. For 2020 08. When is it due? So here. For 2020. For 20. For 2020. Up and down arrow keys. For 2020 08. Don't work unless you expand the combo box with alt down arrow. And now they'll work. For 27 20 08. For 28 20 08. 427, 4, 425, 424, 2008. Let's make it due on 424. And then we'll hit enter. 424, 2008. And then tab. Complete. Checkbox. Unchecked. Okay, it's obviously not complete because we are creating it. Okay. But cancel. Apply. Help. General. Tab control. One of three. Alarm. Two of three. And you can have it remind you. You can have an alarm go off. So. Alarm action. Alarm action. Message window. Checkbox. Unchecked. Do you want it, a message window to pop up? So you'd check this if you did. Space. Checked. Alarm action. Play sound. Checkbox. Unchecked. Do you want it to play a sound? You can specify any sound you wish, and you can have different sounds for different tasks. Alarm action. Send email to. Checkbox. Checked. You can actually have it send email to specific people. And I have done that. In the options dialog, there's a way to set up default task options. Alarm action. Edit box. And that's where you would type in the person's email address. Tab. Configure. Dialog. Test. Button. Alarm action. Run program. Checkbox. You can have it run a program. Uncheck. Alarm date time. 4 20 20 08. Combo box. Alarm date and time is 4 20 20 08. That would be today's date. Alarm date time. 4 20 20 08. 8 OK. Alarm date Let's time. Shift tab. 4 20 20 08. 8 o'clock and combo box. 7 o'clock and 8 9 10 o'clock and I just did alt down arrow to expand that combo box 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock p.m. 10 o'clock and 10 o'clock 10 o one a.m. and it's a standard 10 o three a.m. windows 10 10 and calendar 10 11 10 11 10 11 p.m. okay button cancel apply help alarm tap control two of three then you can go to the right Repeat. And there's your repeat. So you can have it. Frequency. One time. Combo box. A frequency. One of five. And there's five options. Daily. Two of five. Daily. Weekly. Weekly. Monthly. Monthly. Four of five. Yearly. And yearly. Five of five. Let's set this to weekly just because. Monthly. Weekly. Three of five. And then I'll tab. Every. One. Edit box. Every week. Repeat pattern. Sunday. Checkbox. Checked. Do you want it to repeat on Sunday? Repeat pattern. Monday. Monday. Repeat pattern. Tuesday. Checkbox. Unchecked. I want it to repeat on Tuesday. Space. Checked. Repeat pattern. Wednesday. And I'm just tapping through. Repeat pattern. Repeat pattern. Friday. Repeat pattern. Saturday. Start date. 424-2008. Combo box. That's the start date. Repeat range. No ending date. Radio no ending button. Date. Checked. Two of two. Repeat range. 424-2008. And by. Radio button. Checked. One of one. And we can end by. 427-2008. Combo box. And it's it's your combo box, so I'll just leave that alone. Okay. Button. And press enter. Active to do list main dot TDL. One. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. 4-27-2008. Alarm time. 4 20 20 10 11 p.m. Alarm action. Pop-up email. List view. One of one. I read. So it's a pop-up email. So that's actually what it's going to do is it's going to pop up a message and it's going to send an email on that specific time. Now let's go into the view menu. File pull down. Arrow. 
and I'll move to the right. Edit pull down. View pull down. Go down. List columns. List columns. Dialog. Menu closed. Dialog. Choose columns to display. Okay. No selected. One of forty. Task. Two of fourteen. Due date. Three of four. Alarm time. Four of fourteen. And I'm just going down. Alarm action. Five of fourteen. Status. Six of fourteen. I want status on, so I will press the space bar. Space. Status. Six of four. Press enter. Active to do list main dot tdl. One. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. 4-27-2008. Alarm time. 4-20-2008-10-11 p.m. Alarm action. Pop-up email. Status. Incomplete. List view. One of one. I beam. Now, I don't want to listen to that whole list just to find out my status. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back into that view menu, and I'm going to move that status up. File pull, edit, view pull, list columns, menu closed, dialog, choose co- one so of arrow down to it and find it. Alarm, alarm, status, six of 14. And then I will press Alt-U because it's going to move it up. So I'll do one, you, two, you, three, you, four, you, five. You. And then I'll press enter. Help. Cancel. Default. OK. Actually, I had to use the mouse and click it. Click Active OK. Main dot TDL. Incomplete. One. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. 4-27-2008. Alarm time. 4-20-2008-10-11 p.m. Alarm action. Pop-up email. List view. One of one. Now, if you noticed, it's told us the status first. It's incomplete. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to force it to be complete. And uh, there are a number of ways that we can do it. We can edit the task. We can go to the Edit menu. Or we can do Control-M, and it will force the task to be complete. M. Complete. 1. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. 4-27-2008. Alarm time. 4-20-2008-10-11 p.m. Alarm action. Pop-up email. One of one. If you notice, the status is now changed to complete. Now, if I press Control M again, it'll toggle the status. M. Incomplete. One. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. 4-27-2008. Alarm time. 4-20-2008-10-11 p.m. Alarm action. Pop-up email. So now I'm going to go to the file menu. We'll just take a quick look through the options dialog. File pull down. New. Open. Recent pull down. Publish to web. See a page. Print. Options. Dialog. And press enter. Menu closed. Property sheet. Options. Window position. Normal. Radio button. Checked. One of two. And this is the startup tab. Do you want the window to be open when you turn on your computer, meaning it's going to put you in that window that we started out in with the list of tasks, which I find kind of handy because you'll get an overview and then you can just send it to the tray. Window position, hidden in tray, radio button, checked. So you can tell it to when it starts, hide it in the tray. And I'm going to put it back on to normal. normal. Radio button, checked, one of two. So now press tab. Windows startup, launch to-do list when Windows starts. Checkbox. Check. Do you want to launch it while Windows starts? Well, sure. OK. Button. And then we're at the OK button. Cancel. Apply. Help. Startup. Tab control. One of five. And then I'll press the right arrow key. New task defaults. Two of five. And here's where you can set up your new task defaults. Like, um, does it pop up the message box? Does it... Um, play the sound what does it do does it send the email alarm action alarm action message window check alarm action play sound alarm action send email to alarm action edit box configure dialog test button alarm action run program alarm time eight o'clock and okay cancel so it's the same window that it was when we were Apply. Setting up the appointment. Button. Help. Button. Or setting up the task. New task defaults. Tab control. Two of five. And then I'll hit the right arrow key. Options. Three of five. And here are options. Close button hides program to tray. Checkbox. 
checked. Okay, so if you Alt F4, it's going to put it into the tray as well as Control H will put it into the tray instead of closing it. Enable Word Wrap and Notes. Checkbox. Checked. Do you want to enable Word Wrap and Notes? Sure. I don't see why you'd want to turn that off, but you can. Word tasks completed over. Checkbox. Unchecked. And you can have the system automatically purge tasks that were completed over a certain uh, time. Task break quick list size. 5. Between 1 and 25. OK. Button. Cancel. Button. Apply. Button. Help. Button. Options. Tab control. 3 of 5. And hit the right arrow key. Publish. 4 of 5. And here's where you set up your internet settings to publish to your website. Uh, you can just hit a button, Control W, I believe it was, and it would uh, publish your tasks to your website. And it would want things like your FTP site, your username, and your password, and all that good stuff. It will uh, right arrow. Display, 5 of 5. And this is, these are the settings for the display. Text, dialog, background, dialog, button, list view, no selected item. And I'm going to guess view. that these are colors and things. 1, task, sample task. Due date, 4-21-2008, 1 of 2, 2, task, sample pass due task, due date, 4-19-2008, 2 of 2. And it's giving us uh, what it would look like if we could visually see it. So if you had low vision, these are also color-coded as well. Text, dialog, background, dialog, notes, sample note text, rich edit, Restore all defaults. Button. OK. Button. Cancel. Button. And I'm going to cancel just in case I inadvertently made any changes. Space. Active to do list main dot TDL. Incomplete. One. Task. Recording podcast. Due date. Now we're back to our task window. This program is Shareware. It is around $19 or so to register. If you have any comments or suggestions, you can send me an email at chris, C-H-R-I-S, at mysticplace.org. And that's M-Y-S-T-I-C-P-L-A-C-E dot O-R-G. Thank you very much. Have a good day.